Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically get new files in Google Drive on WhatsApp. Now suppose guys you and your team members on, are working on a project and for that project your team members shares a lots and lots of files with you and due to the large file size they upload the file on Google Drive and shares the link with you or you have to manually check again and again to the Google Drive folder whether they have shared that file or not. So manually repetitively checking on the daily basis of Google Drive folder can be very much time consuming process for you. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new file will be uploaded on our Google Drive folder, automatically you will receive a WhatsApp message with that very same file link which is newly uploaded. And in this automation guys, we are sending WhatsApp message to yourself or you are getting notification for yourself. But basically you can send the file images or URLs to some other person, some other team members as well. Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step by step guide to set up this automation and how you can do this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Google Drive to WhatsApp. Click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the new files which we are uploading in our Google Drive inside Pavli Connect. And after that using Pavli Connect, we will send that very same file to us on a WhatsApp message or to someone else if you want to send that very same file link on a WhatsApp. So guys here in trigger window in choose app, search for Google Drive. Google Drive it is. And after that in trigger event, we can see there are lots and lots of trigger event over here. Then we, out of all of these, we will select new file. Or if you want, you can see new file in specific folder. So if you have, if you want that when a new file is uploaded to a specific folder, only to a specific folder in your Google Drive, and only you want to get the details or the data of that very specific file only from that folder, then you can select this very same trigger event new file in specific folder. But for now, I'll select new file and click on connect. Select add new connection. Now here, we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. Now to make the connection, we just have to click on this connect with Google Drive button and select the Google Drive account which you want to connect. So Ryan Glasgow, this was the Google Drive account of mine. So I'll just connect it. Now after that, just give this Google Drive the permissions and click on continue. Now we can see that because we have selected our Google account and in our Google account, we have already logged into our browser. Pavli Connect is now successfully connected with our Google Drive account. After that, we have to click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, the most recent file which we have uploaded in our Google Drive will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So first, let's upload a new file on our Google Drive. So we'll come to Google Drive and here we will upload a new file. Let's upload a file from my system. Okay, so we have a sample file over here, a sample PDF. Just select this and click on open. And yes, we have received the file over here. The file is uploaded on Google Drive. Now we will see that when we will, after uploading the file, when we will get back to Pavli Connect and click on save and send test request, the response or the details or the link of this very same file will be get, uh, collected inside Pavli Connect. So let's click on save and send test request. And yes, guys, we can see that here we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have the name of this file, very same file, functional sample.pdf. 
Then after that, we can see that we have the type of this file. This is a PDF file. So we have the file type as well. Then we will scroll down and we will find that we have the web view link of this very same file. Then we will scroll down and we have the other details regarding this very same file. So we have the name of our Google account, the email address, as well as other details of this new very same file, which we have just now uploaded on our Google Drive. Now guys, if you want to share this new file with someone who doesn't have the access of this Google Drive or this Google account, you have to basically change the file permission of this very same file. Or if you want to send this file to yourself and you have the access of this Google Drive or this Google account in which we are uploading the file, then you can directly send the web view link of this very same file to yourself on WhatsApp. So let me show you the process on how you can change the file permission. So just scroll down, click on this action window and here in choose app once again search for google drive google drive it is and after that in action event we have to select share a file with anyone just click on it click on connect and then because we have connected our google drive account in the previous step we don't have to make the connection one more time just click on save then we can see that it is asking us file id so in the drop down below you can see a list of all the files which are present in my google drive so I have right now, I have only one file in this particular drive. So it is showing us, but we have to turn this mapping button on over here, clear the existing field. And basically we have to map the file ID, which we have received from Google drive in our trigger window. So we have received the file ID of the new file, which we have uploaded. And we have to map this very same ID over here. So to map the process of mapping is guys very simple. We just have to click here and from the drop down below from the responses of Google drive, we can see that we have the response of file ID over here. So just map it and click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received another web view link of this very same file and anyone with this link can access this file over here. So if you are sharing the file with someone else who doesn't have the access of Google account, you can do use this step. Or if you want to get the files on your own WhatsApp account and you have the access to that Google account or Gmail account or Google Drive account, then you can use this very same web view link which we have received from Trigger. After that guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now completed. Now let's move to step two. For that, we will scroll down and click come on this action window. Just click on this add action step button. And here in choose apps, we have to search for WhatsApp by AI Sensei. So in this video, we will use an official WhatsApp API, which is WhatsApp by AI Sensei. After that, we have action event over here where we will select send template message and click on connect. Select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account with Pavli Connect. And to make the connection, we have to get the AI API key of our AI Sensei account. And to get the API key, we just have to go to the AI Sensei account, the dashboard of your AI Sensei account. And on the left side, click on this manage button. And at this very same page, we have an, an option named as API key. Just click on that. And you can see the API key of your AI Sensei account. Just copy it and go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on save. And now we can see that our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account is now successfully connected with Pavli Connect. Then it is asking us for the campaign name that which campaign we want to use to send messages. So here in AI Sensei, first we have to create a campaign. And then after that, we can use that very same campaign to send messages to our users or to ourselves. So here in dashboard, after reaching our dashboard on the left side, we have an option named as campaigns as well. So just click on it. And here are all the new campaigns which I have created in my ASNC account can be seen over here. If you want to create a campaign for yourself, you just have to click on this launch button. But first, let me tell you how you can create a template message inside your AI Sensei account. So you just have to go to manage section and click on this template message button. And basically to send messages, WhatsApp message or to receive WhatsApp messages using AI Sensei, you have to basically create a message template inside AI Sensei account. And then we have to get that very same template approved. And after the approval, we will add that very same template into our campaign and we will send the messages using that campaign. So in this page, you can, by clicking on new button, you can create a message template of your choice. Now we will go back to campaign section and click on this launch button. And here just select API over here 
and give this campaign a name. For example, I'll name this campaign as Google Drive. Google Drive files. Now after that, we have to select a template over here. So I have cre created a template message to receive the new files on my Google Drive account as a WhatsApp message on my number, which is named as Google Drive files. So I will select this template. And then you can see that on the right side, this is the kind of template message which I have created. And in this message, you will see there are two basically two variables, two body fields, two parameters, which are entered in double curly braces, numbers between double curly braces. So you must be thinking, what are these? So basically to add some dynamic text in our WhatsApp message, we have added these kind of parameters or variables in the template. So after hello, if I want to add my name or I want to add the name of the people to whom I'm sending these mess WhatsApp messages with the new file link. So we want to add the name of the person to whom we are sending message. That's why I have added a body field over here. After that, in front of file link, we have another body field, another parameter. So basically guys, the link of the new file, which is uploaded on our Google Drive will keep on changing. Every time we receive a new upload, a new file, we will receive the new link for that very same file inside public connect. And we will be sending a new link on WhatsApp as well. So to keep on adding, adding that dynamic link in place of this text, we have added this parameter. So after selecting the template, just click on set live and the campaign is live now. Go to campaigns and we have to enter this very same name, Google Drive file, same campaign name over here in public connect. Google Drive file, just a second. And yes, then it is asking us for the mobile number. So here we have to enter the mobile number of the person or, or, or of yourself to whom we want to send this WhatsApp message. So I want to receive the message on my own number. So I'll enter my own WhatsApp number. And guys, the help text below this says we have to enter the WhatsApp number with plus sign and country code. So I have added the plus sign and country code. And after that, the 10 digit WhatsApp number, then it is asking us for the username. So I have to enter my name. So I'll enter my name as Akash. Akash over here. Then it is also asking us for the source that what is the source for this contact details. So I'll enter, for example, any source which you want from where you are getting the leads or where you are getting the details. So I'll enter the source as Google Drive. Just for an example, then it is asking us tags. So we can actually ignore the field of tags for now. It is not mandatory. It is not required right now. And then it is asking us template parameters. So as I've shown you that we have added some kind of parameters in our template message. So we have to basically add the text, what we, what text we want to enter in place of these parameters. So basically in place of first parameter, I wanted to add my name. So I'll enter my name over here, give a comma. And in second parameter, I wanted to add the link of the file, which we have uploaded on our Google drive account. So we have received the link of that very same file in our trigger window from Google drive. So this was the web view link. So basically we want to see, uh, share this very same link. So we will map this very same link over here after the comma. So just click on this and from the drop down below from the responses of Google drive new file, just map the link of the web view link of the very same file. Okay. This is a download link by clicking on this web content link. The user can download it. And this is the web view link. So I will select the web view link. Then it is asking us attributes, URL and file name. So basically we can ignore these fields for now and click on save and send test request. And the response received is as success, which means the number which we have mapped over here or the number which we have entered over here is now successfully sent a WhatsApp message under this campaign. So let's check the WhatsApp account of this number. And yes, guys, we can see that on the very same number of this user, the, our own number, which we have entered in public connect. We have received a WhatsApp message which says, hi, Akash means my name, which I have entered in place of my parameter. There is a new file uploaded in our Google drive and we have the link of that very same file. And as I click on this OK button, this link becomes clickable. Let's click on this link and we will see that this is the very same file, which we have just now uploaded on our Google drive. So guys, we saw that the automation, which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time someone will upload a new file, a new team member will upload a new file on our Google drive. Automatically, I'll get a WhatsApp message with the link of that very same new file. Now, after creating this automation, we have to test this automation once. So for that, we'll get back to Google drive and upload a new file over here. 
So let's go to new file upload. And this time I have an image file named as travel brochure. Let's open this file and upload it on our Google Drive. And we can see that just now we have uploaded this very same image file on our Google Drive. Now we will see that within few minutes, basically within 10 minutes, we will receive a WhatsApp message with the very same file link on our WhatsApp number. And guys, it takes us 10 minutes to send the WhatsApp message or receive the WhatsApp message because the connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect is based on polling technique, which may take 10 minutes to get the response of a new file uploaded in our Google Drive inside Pabli Connect. And the response time, expected response time, you can refer to the expected response time that how much time will it take over here in the trigger window. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. And yes, guys, within few minutes, we can see that we have received a new message over here, which says, hello, Akash, there is a new file uploaded in Google Drive. And this is the file link. Let's click on this link. And guys, we can see that this is a very same image file, which we have just now uploaded on our Google Drive. So guys, we saw that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine using Pabli Connect. Now let's just get back to our Pabli Connect workflow and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this workflow. So here after creating the workflow in trigger application, we have selected Google Drive and new file was a trigger event. Then we have uploaded a test file on our Google Drive and then received the response of that very same file inside Pabli Connect. Now, after that, if you want to share the file with someone else who doesn't have the access of our Google account, Google Drive account, then you have to add this step that Google Drive share a file with anyone or else you can skip this step. And then the next step, we have connected our AISNC account, WhatsApp by AISNC account and send the very same Google Drive file link using AISNC to our number as a WhatsApp message. And if you are sending this file link or the share a file with anyone, a shareable file link of this very same file, you have to basically map the file link from this step. Or if you are sending this message to yourself, who basically has the access of Google Drive account, you can get the web view link of that very same file from our trigger application response. So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pabli. Thank you. Have a nice day.